hey, let's talk, let's be friends, let's be curl friends. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Trish. Welcome to my channel, Trish the Natural. Coming to you today to talk to you about some products that I use uh, to achieve this twist out. Um, I use some products from the Miche line, so let's get to it. Okay, I started out, um, I ordered some products from Miche because uh, I've heard great things about them in uh, other videos and I, you know, just want to try it because I am on a quest for moisture. So these products are supposed to have, you know, uh, give great moisture. So um, I thought I'd try them out. Now, some of the more popular products, um, they they weren't available in the regular size. So I decided to get the mini sizes just to, you know, try it out. And those were, um, uh, one was the uh, Mish Cleansed, the shampoo. And I also got the Lavish Leave-In Conditioner in the mini size. And I got the Quench um, Hydrating Twisting Butter. And then uh, also I got polish, um, the oil. I got those in the mini sizes. And in the regular sizes, uh, I got the Bounce uh, Curl Defining Cream. I got that in the regular size. And I also, I got a, their leave-in conditioner, but I don't have that right here with me. But I didn't use that anyway. So what I did was I started out by uh, using um, the Clean Shampoo. And uh, it, it was a nice shampoo. It lathered really well. Um, my hair definitely uh, did feel clean after using it. Uh, it was a nice, creamy, uh, typical shampoo consistency. So uh, I did have a really nice uh, uh, hair washing with this. After that, after I washed it, um, I used I used a different. Um, I think I used Camille Rose deep conditioner because I I always like to deep condition. Um, I'm, I'm trying to stay on a, a regular routine with my hair where I'm trying to at least, you know, wash in deep, deep condition, you know, at least once a week. I don't want to go too far. Uh, I might go eight days, nine at the most, but I'm trying to be more consistent with washing my hair because um, I think that's going to really help me. Um, keep the moisture that I'm trying to achieve. So I did use a Camille Rose deep conditioner. So, and after I deep conditioned, I rinsed that out. And then I used the um, the leave-in, um, the lavish, the Meech Lavish leave-in. And it went on very nice. Um, it, it, it's a nice um, leave-in. It had um, pretty good slip. I was able to detangle with it. Actually, I detangled further because I did initial detangling um, with the deep conditioner, but this allowed me to do some additional detangling. And when I do my hair, I always work in sections. So I had my hair in probably nine sections. Usually I have nine, uh, two on this side, two on this side. Um, my crown area, I... Um, I put one up there because it's kind of delicate. It's, it gets very tangled. And then probably four in the back. And that's how I usually manage doing my hair. After the leave-in, I did uh, some twist and trying to see. No, actually, what I did was I did a braid out. Actually, a chunky braid out. And I'll insert a picture so you guys can see what that looked like. So that's what I did initially. And like I said, it, it was kind of fluffy. Um, 
it lasted probably a couple of days at least at least a couple of days i probably could have wore it more but i kind of want to change it and i want to do a twist out so instead of using this again for the, this twist out that i have here get a little close so you guys can see um instead of using um the quench or the twist out what i did was um i sectioned my hair again and um uh, i worked in about eight sections and i sprayed my hair i misted it with a little water and i used some of the what i had left that's why this is empty as you can see what i had left of the lavish leave-in i put a little bit of this just a little bit and then i used the bounce and um, this is really supposed to be a uh, uh, one and done product so but i still want to you know have that extra little bit of moisture from the leave-in and i used this and i did a twist out and I'm trying to see how many twists I had two four six eight maybe maybe about 18 twists um I'm working on doing smaller twists so typically I would do about nine twists I'm known for doing chunky twists and chunky braid outs but you know sometimes when you do that uh, you know you'll have a, a fluffier fro with you know some definition but you might not get days and days of wear out of your hair so i tried to do my twist a little smaller so i think i did about 18 twists and uh this is what i came up with um uh, using the bounce um it is it's, it's kind of thick i don't know if you guys could see how thick it is but it's thick it's thick it well it looks it looks thicker than it is and it's real creamy it felt real good um i was able to smooth it through my hair and then um like on the ends i did a little bit of um a dimming brush just on the very ends um no it wasn't take that back it wasn't a dimming brush it was the felicia leatherwood brush on the end on the very ends i just you know did it a little bit i don't you know brush all the way through um with those detangling brushes i don't usually do that but yeah i i twisted it up um let me see uh maybe the night before last um and i took it down last night because i had an appointment this morning so it was twisted all day yesterday and i i took it down last night because i like for my hair to um once i take it down um it kind of uh, gives it a chance to kind of swell a little bit my hair swells so um so i wouldn't have so much to do you know in the morning because i had a very early appointment this morning so i didn't want to have to do too much and um so this morning i finished like separating it and uh for the most part it's been down most of the day so all day basically and um i still you know feel like i got um pretty good definition i'm sorry if the camera's moving um but for the most part i feel like i got pretty good definition um tonight i just probably um put it up in a puff and uh, wrap my uh, silk scarf around my head but um, I like these products even when I did initially did the braid out uh, my hair was totally moisturized um, it's soft it's soft and oh so soft and moisturized and uh, I did a twist out because I wanted to, uh, not because, you know, it had dried out or anything. It was still uh, pretty much moisturized when I did the twist out. And uh, um, I really like these products. And I'm definitely 
going to try to get the regular size in all of these. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, last night when I took my hair down, I used the oil. And uh, ooh, it smells so good. Mm, mm, it smells so good. It smells so good. I, I like this oil. Ooh, it smells so good. So, yeah, um, I'm pretty much that's it, guys. Um, I, I didn't uh, film a, uh, a demo or anything, but I thought I'd tell you, you know, uh, how I felt about the products. Like I said, my application, it was nice. Uh, the moisture is still there. Like I said, you see, today is Monday, and I did my hair uh, Saturday night. I did the twist out Saturday night. And uh, my hair is uh, still moisturized. I can definitely uh, get a couple more days out of this. It's just going to, you know, get bigger. But I still got, you know, you can see I still got definition here. So I like that. Both sides. So you guys can see that definition. So, yeah. So, Mish. Okay. Your keeper, as far as the moisture goes, I would definitely um, be using these products again, and I think they'll probably be uh, part of my regular stash. Um, definitely, I'm uh, probably gonna try some other things um, with this bounce. I'm thinking about a wash and go. Um, not sure if it's it will hold my hair. Alone without a gel, I don't know about that. I'm thinking if I tried to do it alone without a gel, I would probably have, you know, definition, but uh, I would probably end up with a fluffy wash and go. That's what I've noticed with my hair when I use the creams alone um, while I get, you know, okay definition, it usually ends up fluffy for me to get deep definition and hold i usually have to use uh, a heavier gel like the um wet line wet line gel uh, i have also used in the past um eco style too and i think i've mentioned that before so uh typically my hair requires a heavier gel i have i've done um wash and goes with um, mousses, creams. Typically those come out as fluffy wash and goes, which I, I still like that look. Um, but, you know, sometimes, you know, with your wash and goes, if, if you want them to last longer, you, uh, you know, you put that heavier gel in there for a reason because, you know, you want, you know, probably not to do your hair, you know, at least, you know, for at least maybe, uh, you know, four to five days. So, but yeah, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to try it with a wash and go and we'll see how that works. And uh, I'll let you guys know, you know, how that works uh, with me doing it with a wash and go. Well, that's it, you know, for this video. I thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I plan on coming back with some more content. So uh, please subscribe to my channel. If you, you know, thought this video was informative, please like it. If you have any questions for me or any suggestions for me on my quest for moisture, uh, please leave comments below. Hey, let's talk. Let's be friends. Let's be curl friends. Um, and again, thank you for stopping by. See you later.